Hello, how's everyone doing? Um, just wanted to make a little video uh, to speak about uh, Christians could drink wine. You know, uh, Sister Susan asked this question on Keys to Kingdom on the Facebook page, and uh, I just wanted to. You know, I've been thinking about it, and we'll just lift it to the Lord real quick. Heavenly Father, we invite you to help us understand this, Lord. We thank you for who you are, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Father, uh, I pray right now this video edifies and, and, and gives godly instruction, Lord God. I don't want to speak, but I want you to speak, Father. I thank you, Lord. And, and I, just, I just pray that your will be done right now in this video in Jesus' name. So can Christians drink wine? Well, obviously we do have free will, right? But I would have to say that when we give our life to Jesus, we give up. We should we give up that will, or at least we're supposed to. Uh, self will is it doesn't it's not supposed to exist anymore. Okay. Once we say yes to Jesus. And everything we do should be brought to him, and, and, and including drinking wine. Now, I, I really think that, you know, when I first came to the Lord, I had to give up a lot of drugs, and most of my life was drugs, and, you know, I took drugs to feel good, you know, to get my mind off, you know, life, basically, to stay high. When I, when I came to the Lord, I noticed that it was hard to, to be sober. So what I did is I started drinking wine because the Bible said, hey, you know, everybody, you read about it on Google, oh, Jesus drank wine, you know. And I would drink one glass every night, but I had to make sure that I, I would to get a bottle of wine if I knew that I only had one glass of wine left in my last bottle. And, you know, one glass of wine a night that led to two nights. And next thing you know, I'm buying five bottles at a time to make sure I have enough, you know. So one glass, two, two a night. And then one day I got drunk. I got drunk at a birthday party uh, with relatives. And I know that's not what God wanted, you know. And now I look back and I would have to say, can Christians drink wine? Well... Look at the reasons why you're drinking it, you know. I would say 100% of the Christians who drink wine, drink it to feel good. To be at peace, you know, to, to take off the stress and the worries of the day and just relax, right? Well, as Christians, we need to trust the Lord to do that for us. We need to trust the Lord to bring His peace, His peace, His joy. You know, and that's through fellowship, obedience, relationship with the Lord. I mean, if you start to get your feel good from wine, I think you should stop drinking it because you're not trusting the Lord for your feel good. For your, you know, he he says, cast all your anxieties upon Him. So, are we casting our anxieties upon the wine? I did. You know. Are we trusting Him with everything? Are we trusting Him with the fruits of the Holy Spirit? Because if we have the fruits of the Holy Spirit, that's the, that's the, that's the wine we need. You know, the Bible talks about don't get drunk with wine, but be filled with the Spirit. You know? And so if you drink one glass of wine, and you get relaxed, and you get... Um, you know, if it helps you sleep or, or whatever the reason is. Isn't that the first step to getting drunk? I mean, if you look at the legal drinking limits, I think it's like one beer, one glass of wine, and you could be legally drunk. And we're, we're supposed to obey the laws of man, right? And, and, and so there's a lot of things to look at with that. I would say, why are you drinking it? 
why do you need to drink a glass of wine? And if it's once a week, well, you know, like again, why are you drinking it then? You know, I think being filled with the spirit is way more important than being drinking wine. But can a Christian drink wine? Well, yeah. But will the spirit lead him to drink wine? I don't know. It's between you and the Lord. But are you trusting God to take away your worries, your cares, and your stress, and to help you sleep, and to help you relax? Because the presence of the Lord does all that. So I pray this blesses you. It's something to think about and pray about. Remember, why are you drinking the wine? What is it doing for you? And is it, is it something that the Lord can do for you? I love you and God bless you. Bye-bye.